Hey guys, a very good morning to all my crypto peculiars. So have you been curious about what's happening in the market? Don't you worry, we CoinMonk's got you covered. Okay, so before starting with our updates, let's quickly quote today's headlines. Trick or treat, will Halloween NFTs be hauntingly good or too spooky for crypto? Shiba Inu, Dodger Coin, Flocky Inu, Boom reveals this about crypto investors' psyche. Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper is now a 13-year-old teenager. Despite Bitcoin buying spree, Q3 wasn't all that glittery for MicroStrategy. So let's start up with our video. Firstly, we hope you all celebrated Halloween nicely and made some super cool costumes and as the social media goes with the trends, so does the crypto world. So with 31st October, Halloween NFTs were bought too. But were they good or actually spooky? Let's have a look at it. This year, Halloween-themed NFTs are becoming more popular, but will the trend last and will they prove to be good investments? Halloween is typically associated with costumes, sweets and trick-or-treating, but as the metaverse develops, the event is shifting to the virtual realm. As a result, NFTs featuring Halloween themes are being developed in the hopes of attracting collectors looking for themed drops. Despite the fact that Halloween-themed NFTs appear to be a novel concept, NFT creator Ed Sploit told Cointelegraph that the holiday has cultural significance that cannot be overlooked. I believe people will connect NFTs for Halloween in the same way they collect NFT limited editions or other releases. Exploit responded by launching the Mango Heroes project, a collection of NFTs based on the Solana blockchain and inspired by the decentralized trading platform Mango Markets. On October 31, 7,000 Mango Heroes will be accessible along with a special edition Halloween component of the collection, according to Exploit. To a member of our Mango Heroes Discord who has continued to most to growing our community, Exploit added, we will be giving away a Mango Hero evocative of Jason from the Halloween movie series. Will Halloween NFTs be a one-time event or a recurring one? While Halloween-themed NFTs appear to be in abundance this year, some ask if this is a one-time occurrence or just another chance to get on board the NFT hype train while it's still hot. Although it is difficult to forecast the future of crypto, Kiefer feels there is room for additional Halloween-themed NFTs, particularly wearables that can be used as costumes. To Kiefer's point, as the concept gains acceptance, a number of luxury fashion designers have produced NFT collections that can be worn virtually. Exploit agreed with Kiefer that Halloween-themed NFTs could acquire popularity in a few years. I think most people are searching for what will be the next long-term blue-chip project right now, he said. Shaw also stated that while the Halloween edition of Uncanny Ape may be too niche for the general market, he feels that the main Uncanny Ape line will pique the collector interest. Despite the fact that the Monster Bash collection was released in the days running up to Halloween, David stated that it is not a Halloween project. We believe monsters are for every holiday, they are just year around spooky friends. Just because Halloween ends, that doesn't mean the functionality stops or the art gets worse. We think that though there will be an obvious holiday specific correlation in the market, that won't stop our community from existing and growing. So moving forward today with our next segment, the meme coins are in the news again. Apart from Elon Musk, they are only ones who make it here every day. This battle indeed deserves respect, right? So look Looks like the meme coins battle is getting interesting day by day and is evening reflecting human nature as per the reaction of investors, let's dive into this one. Shiba Inu has increased by about 150% in the last week, surpassing Dogecoin in market cap to take the 9th slot on the list. In fact, coins like Floki Inu, which was unheard of just a few months ago, are up 298% while Doge Elon Mars is up nearly 4000% in October. The irony is that most of these meme coins were created as a joke with no inherent worth, remaining true to their name and at the end of the day being a meme. Dogecoin was found in 2013 as a parody of the Shiba Inu dog's Doge meme. Shiba Inu was created in 2020 as a tribute to Dogecoin. Elon Musk shared a photo of his new Shiba Inu dog Floki in September, prompting the creation of Floki Inu and Shiba Floki. A joke and a joke on a joke was the greater narrative that propelled the coinage. So how did some of these coins outperform projects like Avalanche, Chainlink, Matic, Litecoin and others with real-world applications? It's all because of a huge shopping phenomena. These coins' triple-digit growth have generated get-rich-quick storylines, which have 
attracted a lot of newcomers to their ecosystem. In particular, there are two schools of thinking when it comes to investing, long-term and short-term or rapid gains. Most meme currencies have risen in value thanks to a wave of high social expectation and exhilaration as well as their pop culturally based narrative. Consider Shiba Inu which has a high number of active addresses that coincide with significant social volumes. Furthermore, there appears to be nothing meaningful when it comes to institutional interest in Shiba Inu inflows. So is there any reason to suppose that retail enthusiasm was a major factor in the rise of these coins? Even though coins may subsequently acquire use cases and institutional interest, they were not initially backed by anything. In addition, surveys show that crypto newcomers don't conduct much study before plunging in the head first. According to a new Cardify research, only 16.9% of investors who have purchased cryptocurrencies truly grasp its value and potential, while 33.5% of customers who have no awareness of the space or would describe their knowledge as developing. So does this get-rich-quick mentality constitute a danger to the crypto industry's wider story and legitimate projects? No, not at all. While meme tokens market valuations may have risen, a survey found that the majority of crypto investors intend to keep their holdings for the long run. Around 58% of individuals polled who had purchased cryptocurrency in the previous six months intended to keep it as a long-term investment. So moving forward, our investors were celebrating somebody's 13th birthday yesterday. Don't tell me you forgot to wish, that's sad. If you haven't guessed it yet, let me tell you. Bitcoin white paper turned sweet 13 yesterday and honestly that's a very big deal. So let's move on with our inscription. After a progressive increase of approximately 77 million and 50,000 percent since its debut, Bitcoin now trades at a consistent market value far above $60,000. After being initially published on October 31, 2008 by an unnamed person or organization known only as Satoshi Nakamoto, the iconic Bitcoin white paper is celebrating 13 years of final disruption. The white paper titled Bitcoin appeared to be an electronic cash system, anticipated the need for a self governance, secure and limited quantity peer-to-peer -peer online payment system. On January 3, 2009, the Bitcoin network was created with each Bitcoin costing $0.0008. While traditional financial institutions initially saw Bitcoin as a danger, 13 years of community support and a growing user base have turned Bitcoin into one of the most profitable internet era enterprises. The Bitcoin white paper suggests a way to avoid double spending without relying on a third party. It mentions the usage of honest nodes that confirm transactions by outnumbering malicious actors in terms of raw computer central processing unit power. Intriguingly, the Bitcoin white paper contains 15 honest and 1 dishonest mentions indicating the importance of honest nodes in ensuring transaction credibility. Satoshi Nakamoto said it this way, We have devised an electronic transaction system that does not rely on trust. They vote with their CPU power, accepting legitimate blocks by working on extending them and refusing to work on incorrect blocks by refusing to work on them. Block 707542 was mined on the Bitcoin network with a mining reward of 6.25 BTC. As the Bitcoin ecosystem approaches its hard limit or maximum supply of 21 million BTC, the developer community will need to change the rules in order to reward miners who confirm Bitcoin transactions on the blockchain. According to the white paper, with this consensus method, any necessary rules and incentives can be implemented. Anthony Pompliano, a well-known crypto Twitter entrepreneur, joins in the celebration. Despite continued opposition from a number of governments and institutions, El Salvador will be the first country to recognize Bitcoin as legal cash this year. The long-term impact of Bitcoin on El Salvador's bloated economy will determine whether the asset becomes popular in other countries. Also, Elon Musk is said to believe that cryptocurrency is basically geared at undermining the power of a centralized government, which could be one of the reasons for Bitcoin's sluggish widespread adoption. So moving towards our last update for today morning, where it is said that again the Q3 is ending with no high hopes of micro strategy. The only challenge that they are facing is crypto for now sounds like a rich people math problem. It's like the same maths question which keeps on repeating and repeating but you're not able to solve it out. 
MicroStrategy, the largest institutional Bitcoin investor, has continued its pattern of purchasing the most valuable crypto token. In the third quarter, it added about 9,000 Bitcoin to its holdings. This increased the value of its overall BTC holdings to roughly $7 billion. There is, however, another side to it. Look at the graph on your screen. Despite the fact that the company had a strong overall performance, making large investments in Bitcoin had a negative impact on the income statement. The world's largest corporate Bitcoin holder suffered financial losses as a result of keeping digital assets on its books. A paper loss occurs when the worth of something falls below the price paid for it in accounting terms. According to a report by Bloomberg, MicroStrategy booked a $65 million write down leading to an unprofitable quarter. That accounting hit brings the total write downs tied to its digital asset strategy to $684 million for the first nine months of the year, nearly double the revenue generated by MicroStrategy's software business. Despite this, the value of the company's Bitcoin hoard has surged by almost $1.3 billion in the third quarter. MicroStrategy's stock has risen by 24% this month, confirming the company's choice to diversify its business beyond software and invest in the hot digital asset. Bitcoin and volatility, after all, are inextricably linked. There is no way around it. With some price consolidation, the prime token was trading in the red zone. The coin was trading under the $62K level at price time down about 1% in the last 24 hours. In the second half of the third quarter, BTC's dominance continued to dwindle, concluding at 42%. Other indicators painted a similar picture. Nonetheless, it had no effect on claimed company's BTC spending binge. It doesn't matter if it's now or in the past. Consider the graph on your screen. Regardless of the commotion, MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor has stuck to his pro-BTC stance. Overall, MicroStrategy's bet on BTC comes both ways as a win and as a loss at the same time. So we would now wind up with the assessment for today morning and meet here in the evening with even more interesting stuff. Until then, you may consider joining our Telegram channel for free crypto signals. Visit our blog linked below for guides, reviews and tutorials and subscribe to the channel and get daily updates about the crypto market. Lastly, with this little favor of CoinMonks, we hope you stay updated. Thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead.